Did you know that 95% of women who experience a miscarriage will go on to have a successful pregnancy? If you recently experienced a miscarriage, I hope this statistic offer you hope as you heal and cope with your loss and look to your future. There is hope that you will have a rainbow baby one day, but that doesn't diminish the grief you are experiencing right now. I know there is nothing I can say to make your pain go away. And I'm not here to tell you the road ahead is easy, but I do want to share something incredibly important with you. This loss is not your fault. Miscarriages are often beyond your control and are usually the result of a random natural occurrence. There is likely nothing that you or your partner did that caused your miscarriage. While you will never forget the baby you lost, there may come a time when you will decide to try to become pregnant again. And I want to provide you with the information, support, and understanding to help you do so. Hi, I'm Dora. Myself, I had a successful pregnancy after a miscarriage, so I can speak from a personal and professional experience. And in this video, I'll be discussing important things to keep in mind as you heal and embark in your trying to conceive journey. To begin, let's talk about the emotional and physical recovery after a miscarriage. You're probably curious how long will it take you and your body to recover after miscarriage? This is a common question and is deeply personal and it varies from one person to another. The length of time it takes you to recover physically and for your hormones to return to your baseline can depend on how far along you were when you miscarried and how regular your cycles were before the pregnancy. You will likely recover physically more quickly if you have an early pregnancy loss, like before 13 weeks of pregnancy, compared to a loss closer to 20 weeks. That being said, let's look at what you may experience as your menstrual cycle returns to baseline. When you get pregnant, the placenta secretes a hormone called HCG. This is the hormone pregnancy test measure to confirm pregnancy. HCG levels peak around 8 to 11 weeks and then decline and level off through the remainder of the pregnancy. Once pregnancy is over, it takes some time for HCG to return to zero. HCG can take around 7 to 60 days to reach baseline. HCG is not the only hormone affected by miscarriage. LH, FSH, estrogen, and progesterone also take time to become regulated. Some studies show follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone decrease after miscarriage. This is due to the reduced function of the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is located in your brain, and it controls the release of hormones such as FSH and LH. There is limited evidence showing progesterone and estrogen may be low during the luteal phase after a miscarriage too. These hormones must be within normal range for your body to prepare for a healthy pregnancy and for your menstrual cycle to regulate. Other aspects of physical healing include symptoms such as bleeding and spotting. You may experience bleeding for up to a couple of weeks depending on how the miscarriage occurred. For instance, you may experience bleeding longer if the pregnancy tissue passed on its own as opposed to if you had a DNC. You may also have abdominal pain that feels similar to menstrual cramps and breast tenderness. The physical recovery should be complete once the hormone levels get back to their baseline levels. However, there is no timeline for emotional recovery. You will go through grieving process at your own pace and in your own way. There is no one right way to grieve. Allow yourself to experience your feelings as they come. Give yourself grace and take care of yourself by prioritizing sleep, a healthy diet, exercise, and self-care, whatever it looks like to you. During this time, reach out to your support network to help you through. This could be friends and family or an online and offline group. While it's normal to feel fatigue, anxiety, mood swings, and insomnia, if you have such feelings that last longer than two weeks, please reach out to a healthcare professional. You may need some downtime before trying to get pregnant, or you may feel ready to try again right away. Is it okay to start trying to get pregnant soon after a miscarriage? Well, it probably depends on who you ask. Historically, physicians advise couples to wait as long as six months before trying again. 
However, there is new information showing women can safely start trying to get pregnant within three months after a miscarriage. The most important factor to consider when thinking of trying again are your physical and emotional recovery. Your body and mind need time to heal after a miscarriage. If your HCG levels have returned to zero, you have no complications, and you and your partner feel emotionally ready, then you can try again. When you're ready to try again, here are some tips to keep in mind. As mentioned earlier, 95% of women will go on to have a successful pregnancy after miscarriage, but it never hurts to implement lifestyle changes that may increase your chances. The obvious tips are to quit smoking, stop drinking alcohol, eat a healthy diet, and stay physically active. Smoking and drinking alcohol can harm your baby and increase your risk of pregnancy complications such as miscarriage and stillbirth. On the other hand, eating a healthy diet and staying physically active is a great way for your overall health. This can also help you keep other medical conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure under control. It is important to manage these conditions as they can impact your pregnancy. Next, let's talk about your coffee. And don't worry, you don't have to give up your morning latte. But be mindful of your caffeine intake and try to consume less than 200 milligrams per day. This is usually one to two cups of coffee per day. Take your prenatal vitamins that contain active forms of folate and DHEA daily to prevent neural tube defects. And keep all your pre-pregnancy appointments with your OBGYN. Finally, consider using a fertility monitor like Edito. Let's look at how exactly Edito can help you when trying to conceive after miscarriage. As mentioned earlier in the video, your hormones can be hard to predict after miscarriage. Your HCG levels need time to return to baseline. Your estrogen, progesterone, FSH, and LH might be low. Your menstrual cycle can take up to three months to return to normal. This can leave you feeling confused about what's going on, but it doesn't have to be that way. The Inido Fertility Monitor can help you track your hormones after miscarriage even if you aren't ready to get pregnant. Inido provides you with numerical values for four fertility hormones, including FSH, LH, estrogen, and PDG. These values are then plotted onto a personalized hormone chart that you can view and understand how your hormones are changing as you recover. Inido will help you predict and confirm when you are ovulating. For the highest chances of becoming pregnant, you should time sexual intercourse around ovulation. Once you are ready to get pregnant again, use the fertility rating to your advantage. Inido measures estrogen and LH to alert you that ovulation is soon, and PDG, a urine metabolite of progesterone, to confirm that you have successfully ovulated. The Inido Fertility Monitor is a great tool to have you in your fertility arsenal. If you're ready to try your Inido, please use the discount code MYINIDOFERTILITYOFF15 for 15 off your purchase. I understand that a miscarriage is devastating, but I hope that you now have a peace of mind that your chances of having a successful pregnancy after a miscarriage are high, and you have the support from me and the Inido community along the way. If you have any questions, you can comment below or head over to the Inido Instagram page and chat with us. Also, please let me know if you would like me to make a video going more in-depth about miscarriage and miscarriage symptoms. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one.